It's over. Free twist. Pops. Holy hi. What do you mean you need a favor? Actually, it's more of a miracle. Why? What's happened? Felicia, it's Cass. Wally? He's got himself into a bit of a jam. This is just a big misunderstanding. Then why don't you enlighten us? I, I got him involved in this little crap game. <laughs> Wallingford, you didn't. Felicia, you said he was depressed tonight. I was just trying to get his mind off things. So, what happened? Well, he started losing. How bad? Big. And then he said to these two gentlemen who set up the crap game, he said to them that the dice were loaded. Oh, and of course they didn't take too kindly to that accusation, did they? <laughs> to put it mildly. All right. Uh, I don't know what, but I'll think of something, all right? Now, you just, you just vamp until I get there, all right? All right. Mitch, um, we're going to have to run just a little errand, all right? Right now? Yeah. Uh, Cass is in... Well, he sort of has a problem. I mean, can't wait until after midnight. No, not really. Not unless we want to find Cass in the lake in cement loafers. Let's go. Get your coat. This is the surprise. An apartment? Well, the surprise is it's mine. I'm going to be on my own now. <laughs> I don't believe this. This is great. Look at this place. It has everything. Well, I wanted it to be comfortable in case I was entertaining someone special. This chair is just like Max. The one I told you about. I had to go to five stores, but then I finally found it. That's why you kept asking me about all the things I like. <laughs> well, I wasn't doing a marketing survey. You did all this for me. No. I did it for us. Michael, John, um, why don't we sit down? Honey, I don't want to sit down. I do. You suppose you could find it within yourself to tell me why you've held back on this all these years? What difference would it make? Well, you wouldn't change your mind. Well, we could have had this argument 20 years ago. It'd be over by now. It'll never be over. Because of Dad? Yeah, because of Dad. Mary? you to be with me tonight and every night oh vince this is our room again you've already painted it you're so sweet mary please say you'll marry me just have to find the right words say it mary i mean just say what you want. We've been through so much together the last couple of days. Yeah. Kathleen's death. I wouldn't have gotten through it without you. And probably not through it yet. Probably not. And MJ's problems and... Mary. What are you getting at? I really feel like a part of this family again. Oh, I feel so close to you. Well, I like that part. I didn't realize until I moved in here... What a wonderful man you are. And what a loving and dedicated and sensitive father you've been. Well, thank you. <sighs> Any woman would be lucky to get you. Why do I feel this enormous butt coming? But. 
I haven't had a chance to, to figure out yet how I feel about you, family aside. I know I rushed the ring. It was a snick sudden. Well, I started to think how great it would be for the two of us to get back together, and the kids, and... Well, you know, yeah. Right? I needed more time. Oh, sure, sure. If you need a couple more weeks, that's okay. I mean, you can keep wearing the ring. I'm not sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Well, why don't you fill me in? I don't know that this is going to work. What is it? You and me. Why? Because I don't know if I'm the person who can give you what you need. You are what I need. Are you saying that I'll never get that? This is my place, Jamie. It's a big step for me, one that I've been afraid to make for a long time. Until I met you. Well, it wasn't me. You did all this. No, I was afraid to be on my own. I was afraid of a lot of things. But I'm not going to be afraid anymore. <laughs> I have my own place. With my own kitchen, with a microwave, and my own bathroom with uh, vanity mirrors and imported terrazzo tiles. <laughs> and my very own love seat. And it's a very nice love seat. Well, just in case the easy chair got lonely. I can't believe you did all this. It was fun. When the real estate lady showed me this place, I knew it was perfect. And then I just did a lot of shopping. Did you shop for this, too? It's a special night. Oh, I guess so. Cabernet Sauvignon, 1984. You mm. said that was a good year, didn't you? This is going to be a great year. Dad died of cirrhosis of the liver. He, he killed himself with booze. He died in a charity hospital. But he did it to himself. You're right, Mike. You're right about everything. That's all you're gonna say? You're the one who wanted to have this conversation. Yeah, and I get the feeling that if Donna hadn't said something, you never would have said a word. Michael. You just can't expect everything to be healed overnight. You waited 20 years to have this conversation with me. Why don't you spill your guts to my wife? Weekdays on... I'm not saying this is the end. But you won't take the ring. Are those the only two alternatives I have here? Either I have to agree to marry you or I have to tell you that it's over? I don't understand this. You just said that you felt close to me. That you felt like you were part of this family. Yes, I do. Well, then why... Oh, I get it. We can be mommy and daddy together, but that's it. For now. Mary, I feel more for you than that. Are you saying that you don't? I'm trying to be very careful. I want to know that I have a commitment, a romantic commitment to you. A romantic commitment. Did you get that out of one of your psych books? This is not a good time to talk about this. We were pretty romantic the other night. Yes, we were. And what was that? Therapy? A little emotional band-aid for the grieving father? We needed each other. I wanted you. I wanted you, too. And that got us through a terrible time. Mary, if you wanted comfort, you should have asked for an extra blanket. Vince, you just read so much into it. Oh, I sure did. I sure did. I was sitting in here alone. Crying. You came to me. You wanted me. Yeah, I read more into it. I thought I had my wife back. That first night, that happened because we were grieving. We still are. Oh, oh, it was like you had your fingers crossed. You take what you need, and you forget about the future. I can't decide about...
about marriage like that. I thought you already had. Vince, I care for you. In many ways, I love you. Oh, but just not in the big way. I don't know. I'm not sure. You weren't sure the last time, Mary, but you took a chance. And it paid off pretty good. I'm not the same person I was the last oh, time. And you never missed the opportunity of saying that. Well, I am not the same person either. But there's something missing in me. And you know what I think it is? You know, the commitment you're talking about? And I think you're afraid of it. I've worked very hard to try and... Oh, Mary, come on, you're lying. You I... didn't do that. You kind of sat back and you waited for me to come begging like some kind of lapdog. Don't say that. That's not true. When you came in here the other night, I thought everything was changed. Now you say that's not true. Well, what is true, Mary? Huh? That I care for you. Then why are you quitting me? Why are you letting us go? Wait! I have an idea. You hear that, Charlie? He's got an idea. Yeah, a friend here's just full of ideas. Whoa, 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 why don't you listen to him? It could be a good idea. Okay, talk. Uh, why don't we roll them one more time? Double or nothing? No, no, no. You're already into us for a significant amount of money now. So what? I can cover that. This is your idea? This roll of the dice? Only this time, we use my dice. What do you guys say? You know, he's still speaking negatively about our dice, Al. Look, fellas, he doesn't mean it. That saddens me, Charlie. It makes me lose faith in my fellow man. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta call him the way I see him. Charlie, Al, he doesn't know what he's saying. Yes, he does. Shut up! Now, look, he's been through a real tough time recently. Mr. Winthrop, the bad times are just about to begin. The wind. Wally, save yourself! No! No! There no! You, are. you, you sleaze bucket, you! Who is that? I've never seen this woman before in my entire life. My friends call me Miss Mona. What do you want with him? Well, you see, I run this little business down on 14th Street and Avenue M. <laughs> I know the area. I bet you do. Shut up. Now, this man has been spending more time in my place the last few weeks than, than one of my, my very own precious chandeliers. In fact, I, I let him run up a, a tab. Oh, it's all becoming very clear to me now. And last night he told me he was going to pay up. But he just snuck out of that place like a thief. While my back was turned. You did that? I didn't like the quality of her merchandise. Ice him. Wait a minute. You know, it occurs to me that we have a common problem here. We do? Yeah, we do. You see, my friend and I are also owed a substantial amount of money by Mr. Winthrop here. Winthrop? You told me your name was Riley. Yeah, and he's accused us of loading the dice. Now, boys, boys, now, I think I should be paid first. I mean, after all, I, I do have a little overhead, you know. Wait, a, wait, a, are you gonna let a tacky madam talk to you like that? Come on, whose turn is it to throw? Come on. Okay, punk. I think your little party's over. Road, Hamilton. Hey, I'm not going anywhere with you, pal. Hey, you do what I tell you to do. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself in more trouble. Uh, wait a minute. There's still a little matter that needs to be cleared up here. And what matter is that? I don't. We want it fair and square. You two wouldn't know fair and square if you took five years of Euclidean geometry. I, that does it. Hey, stop, hey, come on. Now, stop it right now. You mess him up and none of us get our money. Yeah, just, just relax. There's everything he owes you. Rocco, uh, put him in the car. Rocco? Oh, make sure it's hey, Rocco. Okay, Rocco. You're getting a little too yeah, hey, Rocco. This is phony dog. Let's get him. I'm not that far, are you? Yeah. <sighs>
I think I can take care of him, punks. Now, boys. You know, if you're ever down at 14th Street and Avenue M, you really should look me up. I would show you it's such a terrific time. <laughs> Remember, you asked for Miss Moon. You'll visit a lot. I will. As much as you want me to. Like tonight? I want you to stay here with me, Jamie. Are you sure? Yeah. I want you to spend the night. Lisa. You like the idea? I love the idea. I just want to make sure that you don't feel some kind of obligation. Oh, am I acting like I'm obligated? No, 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 no. You're acting fine. I just have to make sure you don't feel pressured. I don't. Jamie, this was my idea. That's why I got this place. So we could be together. I want that more than anything. But I want you to be comfortable with this. With me. With us. What's the matter? Do you snore or something? <laughs> you know that's not what I'm talking about. Jamie, I've had a lot of time to think since I started planning this. Yeah. And I decided that I've waited long enough. I found a man who cares about me, and I should be with him. Yeah, that's great, but, um... But Jamie, you've been so patient. Now, now, just hold on there. Now, am I being patient? That's... that's nothing. I mean, I mean, I wasn't really being patient. I Will was... you let me talk? Yeah. Sure, I'm sorry. <laughs> you've made me surer than I've ever been in my whole life. And I'm sure... I want to be with you. You said that dinner will keep? I said it was cold. It's about the only thing in this room that is. I don't have any right to this. What are we gonna do now? What do you mean? You moving out? No. Becky's still here. Oh, I'm sure Zach can arrange something. Do you want me to go? You know what I think our problem is? What? I think I know you. And you don't think I do. I don't think I know me. Not yet. You said that you moved back in here because of Becky. I did. Baloney! Now, I know how much you care for Becky. That's not it. It's me. The judge said that there had to be a woman in this house. There were Becky two was... women in this house, Mary. MJ and Cheryl. You wanted to be close to me. You still do. I don't care how much jewelry you hand back. It's perfectly understandable that I would feel drawn to this house. And to the man in it. Admit it. I'm not going to let you bully me, Vince. I'm not doing that. At least I'm not trying to. Well, you're not listening either, and I want you to understand. Okay. I'm 
listening? What don't I understand? You called him a coward. Yeah, she called me a coward. She found me packing, getting ready to leave again. She said I was always running, and she called me a coward. And for that? For that, you told her? It's been a bad night, Mike. Why didn't you tell me? I've called you a coward plenty of times. <laughs> what difference would it make? You know, I wouldn't change a thing, John, about what I said to Mom, about Dad. Not a thing. I'm not sorry for it. See? That's what I mean. You make these judgments, you don't change your mind. What good does it do to talk to you? I don't get this, John. Why not? Well, we used to talk about Dad all the time. I and mean, what were you afraid of? I mean, what wouldn't you tell me that night in Saigon? He didn't deserve to die alone. No. Mm -mm. I don't buy it, John. No, there's, there's something more here you're not telling me. Are you sure this is what you've been keeping from me for all these years? You're watching a 5-1. Call now. There's nothing left to say. So where are you going? Bed. Michael, I didn't want you to have to hear like this. I'm glad I did, Donna. You see, John had just told me, and I was on my way downstairs to find you. But my father was here. It's been a hell of a day. I just didn't know what to do. I, there was a part of me that just wanted John to go. Why? Because I didn't want you to have to hear any of this at all. Donna, that's, that's what I don't understand. I mean, he didn't tell me anything that I didn't know. I, I mean, I can take any of this that he can throw at me. You're not upset with me? Upset with you? Oh, honey. I couldn't be upset with you, Hacky. The only person in this whole house who doesn't lie to me. And, of course, you have other wonderful, very interesting aspects. Oh, I love you so much. I would do anything. Oh. I, uh, I heard John go up to his room. Oh, Clara. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but... Michael, dear, I can't let you think that John hates you. Oh, Mom, come on, you don't think he does, do you? What happened was between your father and me. John will have to understand that. If he's got to hate anyone, he's got to hate me. Mom, tell me, I mean, were you ever sorry that, that you didn't let Dad come home? I'm sorry about a lot of things. Were you sorry that you listened to me? Your father was in a hopeless condition, deplorable. And, and you boys were so young. I did what I had to do. Donna, there's something about this that just does not jibe. What? I don't know. Look, I'm gonna go out and take a walk. I need some fresh air. Are you going to wait up for him? Yes. Well, then why don't I make us some coffee? I don't think anyone is going to sleep much tonight.
He took a pretty big risk tonight. John, I am so sorry. I know I've put you through so much. I was just wondering who you did it for. Yourself or me. And then it came to me that... Maybe you did it for both of us. Where did you get these clothes? Would you believe? From a costume party. Yeah, and of course, she never throws anything away. <laughs> and the violin case? Oh, well, now, you know that string quartet that plays here sometimes? Yep. Tonight, they were a trio. <laughs> uh -huh. But now, Felicia, the real question is, where'd you get the idea for Miss Mona? Oh, well, that's Miss easy, Wally. That's from the musical, The uh, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, right? I thought it was just so appropriate. Hey, what'll everybody have? Oh, uh, club soda, please. Yeah, me too, Wally. Yeah, I, I guess I don't much feel like drinking either. Cass, look, if this is anybody's fault, it's mine. Uh, the, the idea of the game was mine, so... You're right. You were supposed to cheer him up. I was feeling pretty blue. Because of Kathleen? Mm-hmm. Well, Cass, I, I thought the game might take your mind off things. Maybe permanently, Wally. Oh, you're right. Everybody was having such a great time at the Corey's party. I don't know, I guess I... I'm not used to feeling like the odd man out, you know. Yeah. No, would you mind if I, um... Excuse me. Uh -huh. It's just that I... I hate to see him like that. Maybe he wants to be alone. I know him, Mitch. That's exactly what he doesn't want. get on his skin. Because she's right about a couple of things. About what? I don't love you the way she does, and that's how you want to be loved. Do I have a say in this? She would give herself to you in a minute, and I can't do that, not now. Do you think that's what I'm asking? Yes, in a way it is. You gave yourself to me the other night. I needed that closeness. I needed that connection to you. But you don't know. I don't know. I... That was all probably really unfair to you. Oh, I'm not a 16-year-old kid. If it had happened the other way around, if a man came to a woman that way, you could say that he was using her. You could say it if he got up the next day and walked away. I'm not doing that. What are you doing? such a strong attraction to you. I'm so afraid if I gave myself to you, I would wind up resenting you. Why? Because I don't know who I am. And I can't give myself to you until I do. This, I don't understand. I don't see why we can't find out who you are together. Forget I said that. Why? Because it's a lot like begging. And I'm not gonna do that anymore. That's not true. Please don't feel that way. <sighs> we don't have anything more to say. You should probably go. Every hour. <laughs> Just at noon and midnight. I checked. Good, good. 
So this is a brand new day, huh? Uh-huh. Our very first together. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You're trembling a little bit. Uh, well, I think that's natural under the circumstances. Are you sure you want me to stay here with you? <laughs> what do I have to do to convince you? Oh, I think I'll come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> very inspired lie. I didn't know if you would back me up. I thought the part about me being a coward was really good. John. Let's face it, Donna. We're a pretty good team. I, uh, I just did it because I wanted Michael to stop hammering away at all this. Do you think he bought it? I don't know. Did I say anything to you after I left? No, nothing definite. You know what I was thinking when I was upstairs? Michael just went for a walk. He could come back any minute. I was thinking that perhaps you were doing this just to keep things going with you and Michael. Yes. That's all I want. But the one that you always confide in, rely on and return to, is me. That's not true. Michael is the only man I love and have always loved. Well, if you say so. I do. But didn't it kind of get to you, though, listening to him? I mean, don't you wonder about a man who is that unforgiving? Look, if you don't like the way things are going around here, you can do what you were going to and just pack up and move out. I'm sorry, Donna. I'm going to have to take issue with that. Michael. I thought you were going to bed. Well, I am. I just wanted to uh, drink a little of your brandy first. No, don't go anywhere, man. I'm glad I caught you. You're not going anywhere. I know you like talking about old times and all the scrapes that you've been in. Yeah, so? This is not a game. We know that. Look, those... Those two guys, they're not out of the movies. They could have killed you and they wouldn't have thought twice about yes, it. Yes, but they didn't. But not this time. I know Cass is your friend, but he's putting you in danger. Mitch. Listen to me. He could have kept his mouth shut. And let us get him out of there. Does my friendship with Cass bother you? Yes. I knew it. No, it's not what you think it is. You want to tell me about it? It's no big deal. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. You know what I think? I think I love you. You know, I sure am glad you called Felicia. I wasn't quite sure how we were going to make a graceful exit from those gentlemen. But you know what I can't figure out is why you said the dice were loaded. Well, they were. No, they weren't. Cass, I handled them myself. They weren't? You've been away too long, pal. I'm not going to let you near a crap game again until you're back into shape. Oh, no, I'm okay, Wally. Okay? Not knowing loaded dice? I'm sorry, that just doesn't sound like you at all.
Did you like my surprise? Remember when I told you that I hated surprises? Mm -hmm. I lied. I hated them. Until now. Keep saying goodbye, and then you don't go. Yeah, I know. Isn't that what you would call a mixed message? Maybe. I just want you to know that I'm sorry. For what? For hurting you. Forget it. Look, I'm real sleepy. Okay, we'll we'll talk tomorrow. I'm pretty tired of talking. We said just about everything there was. said what she did. Do you? Yeah, I think so. And I, I don't want you to leave. Why not? Because, well, we're under one roof. We have a chance at resolving this. And what if we don't? Well, then we'll just have to learn to accept it. <laughs> I've never known you to be real good about accepting things, Mike. Well, I am. I am, if we've given it 100%, if we've tried. It's that important to you, huh? Yes. You're my brother. It's that important to me. Stay just a couple of more days. Well, I guess if I didn't, I'd... I, I'd miss this, wouldn't I? John, at least we know now what the problem is. Yeah. Right. Michael, you know, now that you know everything, I don't think you have to push so hard. I don't know, Donna. Doesn't make sense. I know that guy too well. Are the fireworks all over? Hey, honey, I thought you were asleep. I couldn't. I was worried about you. Worried about me? Well, I know what Uncle John said to you must have bummed you out a little bit. Well, kind of, yeah. Well, at least you've been honest. I know that's important to you. Thank you. For what? For worrying about me. I really appreciate that. Hey. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Oh. There. You think maybe you can sleep now? I'm just gonna get my book. Good night. Um, Victoria, would you tell your grandmother that I don't think we need any coffee after all? Is she in the kitchen? Mm, I think so. Sure, I'll tell her. Good night again. Sweet dreams. Good night. Victoria, I'm so glad you're home. Are you ready for bed? Oh, for bed? <laughs> Donna, I'm, I'm awful wired. Michael, things are going to be so much better now. I hope so, Donna. <laughs> Do you really think John was telling us the truth? I'm sure he is. I hope that he is, Donna. Because there's been so many lies in this house. Don't see how it could stand one more. original SoapNet show that was nominated for four Emmy Awards in its first season, including Best Hosts. Lisa and Ty give you inside access to the world of soaps every weekday at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Soap Talk, only on SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps.